Everyone here knows this moment is historic. I wanted to come here because it will be a um, history that I will tell for my children and my grandchildren. I was stressed. I don't think it could happen. But when it happened, I was very happy. I hope it continues. It shouldn't just be one match. After years of women not being allowed in stadiums, we're all very glad from the bottom of our hearts. Before, we cried watching games on TV, but today we have tears of happiness. It's not a very tough match, but in my opinion, it's one of the most important days because for the first time, officially, they let women in. As the crowd outside trying to get in grew bigger, police warnings grew louder. There's a great deal of excitement here at Azadi Stadium this morning. At the gates, women have already started gathering. Some have tickets, some don't. Police have said whoever has a ticket will be allowed in, but if you don't have a ticket, you should move along, you should leave the area. If people don't leave the area, the police have announced they will start arresting people. But diehard fans don't scare so easily. I don't have a ticket, but I have come with the hope that officials let me in. What entertainment is better than this? I think it's great. Look at all this enthusiasm. What's wrong with that if we go inside? They could allocate all seats for women, but the number of tickets are very low. If you look around here, you see many women who haven't been able to get tickets. I hope everyone can go inside. And Mahbub Gharghani actually got in. Officially, 3,500 seats were made available for female fans, who for the first time were able to buy their own tickets and watch a live game. In the end, Iran beat Cambodia 14-0. Thousands of cheering women, enough to make any player feel invincible. The real action here is happening in the stands. Game day energy generated almost entirely by one side of this stadium. They started cheering an hour before the game, cheered all the way through halftime, and kept cheering at the end. Not every woman who wanted to was lucky enough to get in because of a cap on tickets. Despite the 80,000-seat stadium being mostly empty, many were still waiting outside when the final whistle blew. One woman we spoke to said she doesn't even like football, but insists on attending games, same as men, because it's an equal rights issue. For the ones that made it, their cheers were not just for the team on the field. For these women, this is a battle cry for a victory, hoping it's the first of many in their long battle for more freedom. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.